Uh, now we have, uh, now if we deposit those 99 rupees, we will get ourselves a bigger wallet! Yes! So we've upgraded ourselves, and this sort of gratification is the essence of a Zelda game! Yay! Just like when you collect four heart containers. You don't necessarily need another heart container, but all your hard work paid off and you have something to show for it. <laughs> this is the sort of manipulative gameplay that Nintendo has been doing to us for years. And it works so well. <laughs> Am I losing my voice? <laughs> Fuck's sake. I wasn't talking that much yesterday. Eh, the day rather. Um, okay. I got disorientated there. We want to go... Yeah, I totally could have taken the other entrance, but I'm stupid. Mm. Actually, the bomb shop's not open up 24-7, is it? I highly doubt it. All right, here we go. Thank you, sir. Very much appreciated. Right, here's the bomb shop in question. It's open, fuck's sake. Ah, this was not the bomb shop in question. Sorry, me. Uh, what did this guy do in Ocarina? Ah, he was the guy that was stuck on the roof. You see, he's moved up in the world. Hmm. There's a bottle up there, and I want it. I used to think first time playing it that there was some way to get that bottle, you know. But it's not. It's just there's a tease. And there's a... That's a really cooling shop, don't you think? Right. So is that... Um, is this the bomb shop? Actually, I think it is the bomb shop, mainly because there's a picture of a bomb there. And that probably says bomb in high, highly in text. There's a Goron there. Right, ah, we need money! <laughs> and I don't have any money, of course. 90 rupees. Silly me, silly me! Man, this one street just has everything, doesn't it? It's like Buchanan Street. Wait, is it Buchanan Street? That big... The Stale Mile, if you're Scottish enough to know what that is. Oh, so he's going to take four rupees off me for the seven rupees. Prick. No, wait, he gave me four rupees? Interest? Really? Huh, okay. Fuck, I don't know. Right, I can't remember how you upgrade the bomb bag, but <clears throat> like I'm ever gonna need more than Thera, so sod it. Okay, I want, I want to ask this Goron something real quick, actually. Mm, okay. Double checked what that is, I'll be sure to remember. Okay, um. Anything else we can do? My god, how many pirates has it just been me dicking around at this point? Um, nothing in here. So I think now the obvious solution is to see. I know, I know, there's something I can do, but uh, I'll have to use the song a double time a few times for it to work. Uh, and we're gonna go this way. I kind of wish, see obviously it'll totally be possible, but I wish I knew right off the top of my head where two other heart pieces are. So I can get it, you know. 
And yes, I'm sure you know and that you can tell me in the comments, but I can't time travel, so I don't know. Can you beat this thing, by the way? I spent a while sitting here trying to beat this fucking thing. But I couldn't. Eh? Okay, here we are at Milk Road. And, oh god, Tingle there can sell his shit, but we're not gonna get it, so... Yeah. That guy over there is, um... Getting that boulder away that takes us to the Romani Ranch, but you can only access it on the third day. Unless you have the already mentioned powder keg, powder keg that that Goron is carrying. But we can't have the, those because we're not Gorons and everybody's racist in Termina. So we're gonna have to wait out. Oh, God, I could've used that fairy. But if we go through here, we'll be able to talk to a couple of cunts. And they're not here, actually. Oh, I just wanted to talk to them to add them to my notebook. Alright, it's time to do the uh, Song of Double Time. A bunch of times. Right, I really hope I'm not forgetting something, by the way. Right, it always rains on the second day, by the way. It might depend on where you are, but... Nice atmosphere. <laughs> oh, I love N I love the Zelda games on N64. I don't know why, but I just got sort of hit there. It's like, you love these games so much, don't you? Yes, I do. Right, 24 hours remain. And the way is now clear, and the fucking moon is very close. Okay. You opened the way. Good for you. Have a cookie. See this track, by the way, which, you know, is also the Lon Lon Ranch from Ocarina of Time. Every time I hear it, I always, for some reason, like, well, I always think of a... Uh, I always listen to it while I'm at work. I don't know why, but at the end of the day, I like to put the Lon Lon Ranch music on, and somehow that makes me feel better? I don't know. Right, I want to try something real quick. Yeah, I've already said that. Um, I probably can't, but saw that I'm going to do it anyway. <gasps> What's that in the distance? <gasps> Epona! Link actually showed some slight emotion there. Right, now there's some fucked up shit here. Because this ranch is run by two sisters. I c you guys have all seen the Did You Know Gaming episode. About the fucking troubles that go on with these two sisters. Right, I think if we talk to him again, she'll give us the option to... 
Nah, she's not. Uh, normally, she, I, even when she's like that, I believe she gives you the option to like practice on Epona. But that's not going to be the case here. But what about her sister? Yeah, that's old Malin and young Malin from Ocarina of Time. But here they coexist and they're sisters. Yeah, that was... Yeah. <laughs> Kremia. Can you see the pun? Ooh, a lot of rupees in there. Right, so yeah, everything is sort of sucking for these two sisters here. But they'll be alright. Because we will go back in time and fix shit. Only to rewind time again after we get the goods, but still. Right. Not that this place is hard to navigate, but I wish I had a map. Right, and here is the purpose of this mask here. That as we go here. Doo -doo -doo. 